Hello and welcome to another Bitbasher tutorial. Today we're going to be working on how you can use sponsor groups and sponsor groupings to really enhance your experience when it comes to building out your world when it, uh, inside your kit basher kits and football manager saves. So we're going to move again straight into our Manchester City um, setup and we're going to open up the sponsorship manager. Now, again, what I've done is I've got more or less the default ones here, though we've got a few extras from another tutorial. And what we want to click on is we want to click on manage groupings. Here we're going to have a, a blank screen. Now, what we can do with sponsor groupings is just take a, a set of the sponsors that we have and add them to a group, keep them organized and use them for selecting further in kits. So I'm going to create one straight for Man City. Now, what I could do here is go into any of these um, sponsors, say, for example, Tourism and find Etihad. Now, if I want to just have Etihad in this pack and force Man City to only select Etihad because obviously they're owned and um, run by people who have a vested interest in Etihad doing well, I can just leave that as is. And then and, um, all I need to do into the main Kitbasher desktop is just select a new sponsor group from this list. So I can just select that Man City pack. And then anytime we generate, um, I would click, um, I would see that uh, Man City would be generated. But I, it can be much more powerful than that as well. If I now go back into Manage Sponsors, I could go into another uh, selection and say, well, they could be Etihad, or it could be that they're really linked to the um, Samaritans, really great charity, really would recommend it. Um, and I can click that in there. So then at that point, um, Man City would then be sponsored by a random selection of either Etihad or the Samaritans. And I could build up a very large list across different um, themes so that um, in the end, what I could end up instead is um, I could do a new pack. You can add as many packs as you like. Just do add. I can do um, uh, my league. And I can even import from the Man City pack as well. So if I just save that and do import, it'll import all of the ones that were already in the my uh, the Man City pack already. So if we go back to tourism, uh, Etihad, you can see that it's now both in the Man City pack and the My League. Now, what could I do with this? Well, that's great for building a, a league pack. So if I now select My League instead, I could uh, apply that to all of the kits that I have in My League, and I can build up a unique list of sponsors that is ready for that league. So for example, you could build up a list of Irish sponsors that are more suited to the Irish league where they wouldn't get things like um, Sainsbury's, which I know doesn't have any um, presence in Ireland. So you'd be less likely to get them or you could more look at a lower league. They're less likely to be sponsored by Etihad because Etihad doesn't have as much of an interest in sponsoring, say, a League Two club. So that's what you could do with them. And because it's really nice to um, share and share alike, if we now go into Manage Sponsors, we can take a, um, a grouping and we can export sponsors. And I could say, you know what? I think my league pack is really good for a particular league. I'm going to do it and I'm just going to click my league and export it and I can export, create a sponsorship export. Now, but because we've done that and I've been sharing and uh, other people have been kind enough to share, if we then look on the Discord, you can see in the sponsor packs, the people have been very kind and have spent time um, creating their own sponsorship packs for you to download as well. And all you need to do is download one of the zips. Um, I could do, um, Automotive, uh, just in download, and you can see there. And what we could do is just very quickly, if I then go to import sponsors, go to my downloads, automotive, 
Now, sometimes you might import and someone has already, um, it, by default, that you might have one of those uh, sponsors already in there. Someone might make a Premier League pack, but we've already got by default Etihad, for example. But you can just click yes to all and that will update because they might have a better version. Now, if we go into automotive, you can see there, because there's a lot of them that you can add in, um, someone has made a very large list and you can see how big a list ha has gone in. They have um, added them all in and you can see if it's all ticked by automated. So that's what you can do with um, sponsor packs. Um, so yeah, that's what we can do with sponsors and sponsor packs. And then what I could have um, done is if I exit out of this and go back to here, I can again just change the sponsor uh, packs to automotive so that I've got them all. Um, and just as a final little bit of uh, help, just if you've decided that, you know what, my charities folder has a great set, I just want to share my charities, you can do create grouping from folder and that will create a new sponsor group called charities that um, I could do charities here and save. Uh, thank you very much. If you have any comments, questions or queries any, about anything about sponsor packs or how to use the rest of the, the Kit Basher system, do please ask in chat um, or in uh, the Discord um, and please direct any comments, questions or queries to the Discord. It is constantly uh, monitored by great people who will, might be able to help you. Thanks very much and I look forward to seeing what kits and sponsorships you can come up with.